the Sunset Food Truck Rally. Hi, howdy, and hello. This past weekend, Robert and I got to go to the food truck rally. Oh, I was so hungry, and it was so cool. Albert Wooded Park, down by the airfield in St. Pete, saw all kinds of characters. Now listen, I can't let you hear the music. I just, I won't get monetized. Got every song in the world going on here. But what I can do is show you all of the people all of the fun and all of the great food trucks now a lot of the menus i tried to get a shot of them to show you not only the options but the pricing that we got going on some of these trucks are going to be at other food rallies oh if you didn't know the food truck rally has a website and a schedule you can go check it out and see what other events they have coming up so if one of these trucks looks good to you uh, if they don't have a physical location like some of them do, Fochizi's got a truck down here. And you know, Fochizi's got a little place downtown St. Pete, St. Pete. <laughs> downtown St. Pete. And they even stay open real late. So if you get a hankering for, let's say, a grilled cheese with macaroni and cheese and pulled pork on it, you can slip on down to Fochizi at 1 o'clock in the morning and get you something. There was lots of other booths, lots of things going on. This guy had lots of stuff. He even had that firework bubble making machine that I showed you that I got from Timu. Look, yeah, it's pretty cool. He was selling them there. He had his for $15. If you don't remember in the video, I got mine for 11 from Timu. Just a little bit of a bargain, a little bit of a deal. But like I said, lots of trucks lots of options lots of things going on they even had um a chiropractor <laughs> and a dj and of course in this great location uh they were inviting you to bring out your lawn chairs or your picnic blankets and spread on out oh another booth that i really liked is this one right here the sun protective wear these are all spf protective shirts and they even had some for the little ones and that octopus so cute and these are called shapeshifter lots of lots of cool things lots of options even shirts for our fishing friends um Another thing that I really enjoyed was just getting to stop and talk to people. I had people stop me and talk about the scooter. Uh, people stop me and talk about the lights and the music and the backpacks. If you haven't seen our backpack yet, um, actually, we have them for sale now. If you're interested in one, hit me up. I'll get you a deal. But uh, our light-up backpacks really seem to be getting us a lot of attention. People stop us and talk to us about them and maybe getting us a subscriber or two. Uh, if you don't know, we go out and about on the weekends, take our scooters, light ourselves up a little bit, take the music out and about, and we go out and talk to people. So we have a great time. We try to do that a couple times a month. We'd go every weekend if we could. We got other things going on and can't always take the grandbaby to go scoot and drink, don't you know? But, oh, the balloon guy was cute and he was so much fun. Like I said, they had the chiropractor here. You could get a little bit of a massage. And this place, Sunshine City Gear. You're going to see this guy's shirt here in a second. It's reminiscent of the Marlboro shirts. It says St. Pete. I love that. They had some great stuff. You got to check them out. Here's the DJ. He was jamming and rocking, but again, I can't. I got this underlying little rock going on that won't get me demonetized. But overall, we had a blast. It's always fun to scoot through, see people we know, meet some new friends, try some great food. Oh, and I did want to mention, <laughs> we, we saw a lady stop in the middle of the road to eat something. I said, what are you eating? She was eating that deep fried strawberry shortcake you just saw. And also, um, I saw several police officers, St. Pete Finest, lined up to get some food. Oh, look at the taco lady. Don't she look tired? Uh, the police officers were lined up to get some food, and they were at Faux Cheesy. And I stopped, and I said, out of all these food trucks, this is what you decide to stop and eat? And the guy, <laughs> he just grinned at me and shook his head. So I guess Faux Cheesy is pretty popular 
but the police department uh, is pretty popular with me too. We'll grab a sandwich as we're sliding through and then I'll eat that thing at one o'clock in the morning. Oh, and look at this truck. They have a full wood-fired oven right in the truck. I, that's, uh, isn't that cool? I didn't get to try their food, but I, I love wood-fired stuff, so I think it would be great. A pizza or a calzone. I want to go back. I'm going to look up another food truck rally, get to another one where we were going out and party, so I didn't want to eat a bunch. We just had a couple little nibbles here and there. And I didn't even record that because I'm not like a mukbang kind of girl. You're not going to watch this fat bitch eat. No, not happening. But, get a chance. Slip down to Bow Cheese and get yourself some. Tell them Joy sent you. Won't do a thing for you, but it'll just sound good for me. Overall, we had a blast. I love watching the people sit out here and enjoy the beautiful skyline. And it is a great location to grab a bite, sit out with your loved ones, or maybe a new friend. Take the family out. Go have some fun. Let me know. Let me know if you go. Let me know if you were there. Did you see yourself in my video? Have you checked out my other videos? Do you watch us on YouTube? We're, we're getting close to that thousand subscriber mark. And I hope, I hope, I hope you're going to be part of that original thousand. I think I'm always going to refer back to the first grand. My first grand. The real family. That's you. Love you. See you on the next one. Joy out. Bye now.